Hi everyone, I just wanted to share a quick video with you uh, about notifications in Brightspace. Um, I've had a lot of teachers asking me, can my students get notified if I, if I mark some of their work or if I publish some feedback? Can my students get notified if I post a new announcement or add something to the content? And the answer to that and a whole bunch of other questions is yes, for sure. Uh, there's a feature in Brightspace called notifications uh, and by putting in an email address you can choose and select what kind of things you want to get notified for right from Brightspace. So let's log in and I'll show you notifications. So here we are logged into Brightspace right on the main page and if we look way over on the right hand side here you can see your name and I'm going to click on my name. Third item down is notifications. So click on notifications. Once we're in the notifications area we're going to scroll down a little bit here and here we are at contact methods and what contact methods means is how do you want to be notified uh, so when when there is a new notification I'll, I'll show you down here first so here's all the things you can get notified about we'll look at that in a minute so when there is a new notification how do you want to be contacted my best advice just th from experience is putting in your work email or if you'd rather a personal email because maybe it, it buzzes on your phone or whatever, that's, that's not a bad idea. I like to put in my work email. You can also choose to have uh, text messages sent to yourself as well. Uh, but again, from experience, this doesn't always work because uh, being way up here in Northern Ontario, D2L doesn't have um, partnerships with all the providers and stuff that we have in Northern Ontario. We're on a bit of a different phone system up here. So text message notifications don't always work. And I, and I honestly can't tell you like whether it's Rogers or Northern Tell or whatever that works. There's just issues with it. So in a lot of the testing I've done, notifications for, to, to mobile numbers doesn't work so well. So my best advice to you is use email as a contact method. Put in your work email or, or a personal email that you check all the time. And I've even seen some of uh, some of the classes, the younger grades, put in a parent's email for their for their students. So uh, you know, grade one student puts in the, the parent's email, and the parent gets notifications of things. So that's that's an option, something to think about anyway. So choose your contact method. Uh, you can limit the number of messages you get in a day, and you could even kind of instead of getting notifications all the time, you can get a summary of of uh, activity. I don't turn that on, but that's up to you. Take take a look. So once you've put in your contact method, scroll down, and now we can look at all the different notifications you can get. So for example, if there's a new announcement posted, you can get an email announcement, uh, an email notification. And it'll just, it'll email you and say, a new announcement's been posted in whatever course it is. Uh, a new assignment, new content. Most recently I had a teacher asking about when I give feedback to the students, can they get an email notification of that? And here it is right here. Uh, assignment feedback released, assignment uh, feedback published. So you can really, and if you keep looking at content, discussions, grade items, I know a lot of you are starting to use the grades tool. So you can have email notifications, and this is really for your students. Your, your students can have email notifications for any number of these things. And you as a teacher as well can, can put on notifications and get notified about other things happening as well. Keep in mind, this is for every course that you're in. So if you turned on announcements and want email for it, you'll get email notifications for every course you're in. So to, to kind of fix that, you can go down here to exclude some courses. If you wanted to choose courses to not include, because some of you may be enrolled in multiple courses, you can go down here and manage the courses that you want to be excluded from. Check that out. And when you're done, when you've turned on the notifications you want, all you have to do is press save and you're done. And you'll now receive notifications for the items you chose under notifications. Get in and check out notifications. It could be a big help to you guys as teachers if, you're, if your students have these things turned on. Hope that helps and enjoy.